I spent thousands of dollars to earn hundreds of dollars a day in passive income hunting cryptocurrency. Yo, you see this? Diablo 2 Resurrected outsource from Blizzard because they've been ruining everything they've touched over the last couple years. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone. Right? This video is not about the game. We talk about crypto here on the channel. Your boy is just a little stoked. Um, you know, nostalgia hits deep with me on this game. I, I grew up playing uh, D2 and stuff like that and above all Warcraft 3. But today we have some exciting stuff to talk about. Stay a while and listen. Crypto has kept me so busy that it's hard to get time in for gaming. Honestly, I barely even use my gaming computer these days because I have everything that I possibly can hashing away, mining cryptocurrencies. GPU miners are fun and everything and they're pretty quiet. And then we've got many ASIC miners down there in the mining basement. But a real, big, powerful, loud, and above all, the most profitable mining rigs are these guys. And you're gonna hear them. You're gonna hear them loud and clear, just like you're gonna hear Tails in our 10 seconds of Tails that we do on every video ever. She's the owner of the Voscoin YouTube channel. My name is Vosk, I work and make sure to slap that subscribe button. Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency sector is crazy. And honestly, there's a lot of scammers out there. If you're looking for the best place to buy an ASIC mining rig, as well as get connected to the top co-location or simply miner hosting facilities throughout the world, then you're looking for Compass Mining. Compass is making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin. So learn more with the link in the video description below. Yo. So uh, we're just gonna jump into it. If you don't know, obviously I love mining here on the channel. Sometimes I just run through these videos, just real world numbers, kind of what things cost, like relative to how much I got into them like for, or what I could have at that time versus what they cost now. Was it worth it in retrospect? Is it worth it trying to get into it now and just how to even try to tackle this stuff? Let's jump into uh, one of my breadwinners. Okay, so we've got two workers that hash away on Ethereum. You know, Ethereum, second biggest cryptocurrency when ranked uh, by a coin market cap, we'll pull coin gecko. And this is like a quick way to compute all this stuff. Also, if they ever drop their own token, make sure you're collecting those candies, okay? Maybe interact with their store a little bit. I don't know though, time will tell. Uh, but <laughs> with that in mind, the, the market's been a little red recently, but that's okay. Um, EIP 1559 hit. <laughs> You can't just pull. And profitability is way down since then. So these two miners combined pulling about $60 a day. Whoosh, oh, oh, whoosh, over there. Um, what I'll do in the bottom corner is I'll just keep like a running ticker of how much this stuff is earning per day. Um, basically, it varies on the devices, but I'm probably paying like, you know, five to 10 bucks of electric on these. So I'm definitely clearing 50 bucks at a residential electric rate, uh, but we'll just keep like a running total of, you know, total profits here because uh, most of my miners are relatively energy efficient, all things considered. Ethereum mining profitability varies a bit because there's the base fee that miners get paid and then they get tips on top. This is a simple way to explain it in this new era, basically. But you can see pretty consistently on average, like over the, I just say this month, I've been earning about 0.02 Ethereum there. The best way to figure out the current market value of a miner is actually really just to log into eBay. And selling your miner in there is a little risky because there's ways you can kind of get scammed and eBay is, you know, all about the buyer in that case. Just so a little forewarning, something to keep in mind, but kind of going through these prices, we see this miner somewhere between 12.5 and 20 grand. Also, there's different models. Like if this is truly the 750 mega hash a second version, it's certainly more valuable than the 500 mega hash a second version. Also, make sure you understand the difference between the five gigabyte and the six gigabyte and the seven gigabyte. Basically, you're gonna wanna ensure that yours is big enough, you have enough onboard memory 
right? To still mine Ethereum due to their DAG file. And so basically it's an ever growing file that makes it more difficult to mine Ethereum. You can see I have a five gigabyte version here and a six gigabyte version. And the six gigabyte version performs much better, but it's not the 750 mega hash or anything like that. It's the 500. So, you know, absolutely interesting. Nonetheless, um, we've talked about Gold Shell 100 times here on the channel for very good reason. They set an incredible marker, a new standard for eight, like a, a, even just a, for, the, for the first time ever, a decent standard for ASIC miner manufacturing. Dealing with, say, Bitmain directly and uh, InnoSilicon directly is miserable, especially if you only want to order one or a couple units. Uh, whereas Gold Shell has like really actually cared about the retail customer and it's like, yeah, you want to buy one, you want to buy 10, no big deal, you know, throw it in the cart and check out crypto and you're good to go. So that's been really cool to see. So with that in mind, I have several of their mini doge miners, their normal mini doge, and uh, also <coughs> the super cool Voscoin edition mini doge miner. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six mini doges on here. You can see the 24 hour hash rate sits so between like 175 and uh, you know 190 there. But I guess I got a little ahead of myself. To round out the cost of getting into those Ethereum ASIC miners I have, I mean, at, at this current price, you're looking at probably 10 grand for one of those, like decent price. But depending on the markup you could pay, it could be 15 grand, which is, at that point, that's like triple the price of what they were when I got into them. Then we look at the Gold Shell Mini Doge miner. This is a newer miner. Uh, you know, depending on which model you get with or without the power supply, it's about 700 bucks shipped. And so I've got six, so that's a cost of $4,200. So this is much cheaper, but the profitability is less because of that. So I'm getting about one giga hash a second. And when I talk about these hash rates, they're important because hash rates equate to, you know, your mining power. And that's what you get paid off of essentially um, when you're a crypto miner. You look at the difficulty this is always changing. I, I don't think F2 pool is that amazing of a pool. I just think that their data here is fantastic for the videos I make. Um, so seeing this, how much hash rate I had, what day, how much Litecoin I was paid, and the difficulty, that's super useful. Like we click back to the uh, Ethereum records. They don't track the difficulty here, you know, which is annoying. But the fact of the matter is I still get this data, which is very useful and helpful. So I'd say on average right here, we're getting about 0.022 LTC. So we'll pull up good old coin Geki again, and we scroll down here. We just go right past Dogecoin, but you know, we're gonna pop it open because we'll be going there next. And so we get 0.0022. So that's about $3.21, which that's like nothing. But the good news is we're also mining, uh, let's say about, 44 doge a day which puts us up to nine bucks a day so that brings us up to about twelve dollars per day you know about you know, conservatively twelve dollars a day there in mining profitability with these miners so if you don't know litecoin and dogecoin two of the top 20 cryptocurrencies are merge mine basically you mine both of them at the same time um, without going on and on, I mean, that's the short sum of TLDR. I'm trying to keep it brief today. Uh, so, you know, 12 bucks divided by six, that's only about $2 a miner. But these are cheap miners. They're very quiet. They're very small. They're efficient. And as long as a miner makes more than it burns on electricity, it's a thumbs up in my book. Sure, you could buy a behemoth, but you couldn't put that anywhere. And it's going to cost you a lot more. A lot of people like to talk about the Antminer L7. So that's an upcoming script ASIC miner and originally launched for about 13 grand and now it's selling for like 20 grand, 25 grand selling out. It's supposed to make over 100 bucks a day. That's super profitable. Depending on what price point you pay, dollar for dollar is more profitable 
But I'll be honest, like I'm way more likely to throw 700 bucks at something than I am 14 to 20 grand. That could be devastating. Most people can survive a $700 loss. I don't know if most people could survive a 20 grand loss, which is why we never recommend an ASIC of that price and caliber as your entry level, you know, first time mining rig. Are you looking for another yield farm? You know, something kind of like Pancake Swap or Goose DeFi? <laughs> Look no further, because we've got Wish Finance. Okay, and this is not financial advice, but here's the deal with Wish Finance. They've got a new spin on it. You never heard it before. They do charity. So they claim to have already saved lives in Bali in their first month since launch. What is interesting about their token holders is that they get to vote on what charities and good causes that they would like these excess funds raised to support. Like many farms, they offer high staking rewards with over 300% in their native token. The founder of Wish is a pro trader and those who complete the loyalty rewards, basically don't sell their Wish tokens and buy a certain amount of tokens every month, get access to his trading preview every week. If that sounds interesting to you, learn more about Wish Finance with the link in the video description below. So now we're up to what? I think 72 bucks a day if I can do math. Pretty easy math. You know, so you're thinking entry level stuff, this and that. Well, uh, what about GPUs and CPUs? All right, let's talk about them. So GPUs, graphics cards, are still super profitable with mining. And uh, so are CPUs. So I just have a couple miscellaneous devices in my house mining with graphics cards and CPUs. I, you know, to be honest, it's I'm not pulling more than 10 bucks a day. It's, it's nothing like, oh, dude, that's crazy. The future of GPU mining, to be honest, is looking really grim. And it's kind of the same with CPU mining. But I was able to 10 to 20x my CPU mining profitability by mining some interesting coins or really coin other than Monero XMR and then just sitting on those coins and then they spiked huge in value. I took that profit, my man. And that's part of speculative mining where you can really change the game. So, you know, retrospect, let's just say I was making $1 a day with like a $300 piece of hardware, right? And so that's real cool, it's a CPU, it's different. You know, if you have a GPU rig or a computer, you can always add or upgrade a CPU to you know get a good quality, high quality mining one, right? And add a new layer of mining profitability. And so in retrospect, going from $1 a day, going to 10 to $20 a day, with hardware that for me was already paid off. But then, you know, really it only cost like 300 bucks in the grand scheme and, and, and that's, that's crazy, my, that's crazy, crazy, crazy returns on mining profitability and just rewards and get that sweet passive income with crypto and like really no risk or very, very low risk. Like you take that versus a $20,000 ASIC miner, which <laughs> did I just hear you ask what that was finally? <laughs> All right, it's an application specific integrated circuit miner. I mean, actually, I'm gonna instead of doing a you look behind me. So those are two ASIC miners. We've got the big boy and the little boy. But basically, uh, you know, the purpose-built machines, all they do is mine only one specific cryptocurrency mining algorithm, which means it can normally mine a couple cryptocurrencies, but that's an ASIC miner. Right above that would be a GPU miner, my friends. And so, you know, I, I love GPU mining, but over the last couple of years, no projects are launching on it. Uh, and it's just, it, it's, a, it's a grim period it's like a crazy it's been a crazy past really two years you could say at this point almost for cryptocurrency but without ethereum still being profitable for gpus to mine we'd be in a pretty dark period uh so that's that's a little disheartening to say the least we've been talking about ckb mining for years since it was in testnet their incentivized testnet you could literally donate your hash power and get rewarded with coins early pretty cool pretty crazy and it's fun to be there from the beginning and hopefully till you know i don't know what to say like the end you know just forever whatever and uh so we've got the little ck box from gold shell which that's been selling for 700 bucks on their site for reference i'm not showing it i don't care if you buy it just to be clear because I, I get so many comments like to say oh you show this show that like bro this is a vlog just let me do my thing i'm trying to have fun and there's some incredible people in our community and, and really my, my goal is just to keep it real give you the real world lens into this um no fluff just stuff anyway profits right so we take like one what 
round up like 180 coins a day. Is that what I typed in here? 170, I'm a conservative man. So two bucks a day after you pay the electric bill, I don't know, 150. It's not all that profitable. Uh, but it's not like that bad. It obviously it still makes more than it burns and that's always cool I've already been recording for almost 20 minutes. So I guess I'll speed it up um, I've also got a Bitcoin miner and a Kadena miner. They're pulling about 40 bucks a day or so um, So, you know, that's the BMK one been out of stock forever I hate the miner. It's unreliable and then obviously there's the good old Bitmain amp miner S series You have the s9. It's so funny. It's almost cute like these new people to crypto they go and buy an s9 on ebay for like very high price you know in retrospect and then they're like yo i mine bitcoin and it's like dude when the bear market hits like you're not going to be profitable that thing is like five years old uh, but it, you know it's it's funny to see it, it happens at every every market cycle i guess um but anyway so i, I do want to note that and by the way bitmain sucks and there's a 30 percent tariff if, if you're in the u.s thanks to uh all the import stuff, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna go down that road today. Today's video is made possible thanks to SAT, the Smart Advertising Transaction Token, which we have talked about before. SAT is a token traded on the Ethereum blockchain. That means it's an ERC20 token, and it's really easy to trade because you can just trade it on places like Uniswap. They've got their new SAT wallet, limitless support there, deposit, secure, and manage your tokens with ease. But here's what's real interesting. Create ad pools to promote your brands with near zero transaction fees, automated payments, and you can literally farm your social networks. That's interesting. It's almost like they're taking DeFi mechanics and applying them just straight up to social media. With this, they claim you can monetize your social media account, remove fraud through blockchain, real-time payments, performance-based payments, guaranteed campaign funding, and this is all powered by smart contracts. And with the ad pool, you can reward influencers to promote your brand but they also have post farming that's supposed to be fair faster more secure way to monetize your social media account utilizing account verification and things like that i mean they literally even have a youtube challenge going on right now where you can be among the first to farm stat through youtube which just to be clear i'm not recommending that i'm not endorsing that i'm not saying you should do that just because i'm a youtube partner here but it is very interesting. They say only verified and legit YouTube accounts are accepted. It's pretty interesting, especially being, well, a crypto YouTuber. Last year, they raised $7.1 million in their ICO or initial coin offering, and now they're starting their true proof of concept. So basically, you can earn SAT tokens to promote a company on its own social networks. Learn more about SAT with our link out in the video description below. So they actually have some Antminer S19Js in stock right now. So 100 terahash, and this isn't even a futures order they call it or a pre-order. They're shipping in three working days after fully paid. So that's a very fast turnaround in this current crypto market. That's an expensive miner. So that miner is making about 25 bucks a day after you pay a residential electric bill of 12 cents per kilowatt hour, 10 cents. Uh, basically, you'll break even within a year or less. It's a, you're making about $9,100 if nothing changed, which it always does um, with that miner. So you're kind of projected to break even in one year or less if you have a cheaper electric rate. Uh, keep in mind that say if you take several year gaps, Mining Bitcoin has been one of the most, you know, lucrative things you could anyone could have ever done ever. My personal rule of thumb is I sell whenever I want and need to and pay my electric bill and then I just keep the other coins and I sell them whenever I want to or there's a big price pump or I just hold them long term year over year and let the price appreciate. I mean, it, it depends. A lot of people want to get rich overnight, but you know, you you relax, stay the course, stay focused and just believe in the long term, believe in the vision. That's when you're gonna make the most money. That's when you're gonna have the most fun. That's when you're not gonna be stressed out and you're gonna make money on your hardware and you're gonna make money on you know your coins appreciating in value. It's not financial advice and it's not guaranteed to understand the game that you're playing here. But historically, that's proven true year over year over year on average. I mean, don't you wish you could mine some Bitcoin at $1,000 a coin? Because there were less miners mining it you'd be getting a bigger chunk. And now it's 50X that price. Just think about that. And there was plenty of opportunities to buy and mine Bitcoin well before it was $1,000 a coin. So, I mean, honestly, the biggest advice I have for you, if you're watching this video, 
other than subscribing to the Bosco on YouTube channel is to get in the game in some way, shape, or form if you haven't already. It's it don't be lame sitting on the sidelines. I mean, even if you just go and grab like a, the perfect starter miner, like one of the gold shell boxes, preferably the, the super cool Voscoin mini doge edition. Uh, you know, just get in the game, just see what it's about. It's really just it's really addicting. Earning passive income with this little custom computer you just plug in. Whether you know you build a GPU rig or you game a computer or you turn your CPU on to mine or you get a purpose-built machine, an ASIC miner for it, it's fun, it's addicting, and I don't want to waste money on you know dumb stuff or even oftentimes fun stuff. I, I want to set myself up for a better future. I want to be able to provide for my pack, right? And you know, be a, be a pack leader and a pack provider, and and really that extends to everyone who subscribes to the channel. You know, I, I want to have fun here, keep it real, and hopefully through all of my trials and errors and documenting them here it helps you guys you know make better decisions or just utilize my data and results in any way shape or form you want to or at a minimum hopefully you can just laugh at me a couple times along the way and you found the videos you know fun or uh, enjoyable or whatever so with all that said hope you guys did enjoy it please smash uh, the subscribe button hit the thumbs up leave a comment let me know your thoughts on the video and what you want to see us cover next we're uploading daily here because we chase on a million subs and we're 44 percent of the way there i'll see you on the next one please be advised there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.